this nigga is really still simping. Like, I'm about to block this nigga. He and his feelings, he called me and tell me it's over again. He paying my phone bill again. Nigga, tell me again. He think I want his friend. If I take your money, I'ma do it again. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys my skincare routine. So this is just the basic stuff that I do. Um, everybody's skin is differently, so some people this may work for, some people it may not. First thing I do is I take this little blemish extractor. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Literally, it was only one dollar. And basically, I just use it on my white heads. Um, so I have two. So basically, you just put it and drag it. And then I basically use an um, alcohol swab pad and I just remove the head and then use it on the spa. Then once a week, I do a face mask. So I like to do the Aztec face mask, Aztec clay face mask. So basically what I use is apple cider vinegar and this is organic. I got this from Costco, you can get this anywhere. And I use the Indian um, Aztec clay mask. I got this off of Amazon. So basically what I do is I just put a little bit in a cup. This is a product where a little bit goes a long way. So I put a little bit in a cup and I take my apple cider vinegar and then you just mix it together. So you can use a brush. Um, like I had a face mask brush, but I can't find it. So I'm just using like one of my old makeup brushes. And you don't want it too liquidy, you want it kind of like thick. So if it's too liquidy, you just want to add some more clay. And if it's not liquid, like liquidy, I mean if it's like too, if you don't have a good consistency, consistency, you just want to add whatever you need to add, like if you need to add more liquid or more clay. And then I like to let it sit a little bit because then it will thicken up. And basically you want to make sure your hair is back. My hair is braided so obviously I just put it in a bun. Make sure your hair is back because you want to have like a clean canvas to like go everywhere around. So then before I put the face mask on, I like to just make sure my skin is clean. So I use my, um, my witch hazel. I just like go over my face with it. You don't have to do this. But I'm doing this because I did not wash my face and you know like when you sleep, um, like obviously like, I don't, I clean my sheets but I just feel as though like, you know like, what is it, would you call it linen? Like I just feel like, you know, it's not like it's dirty but I just rather like clean it since I am putting this face mask on my face. Like, and you kind of have like a little bit like, sometimes I have like a little bit of makeup like left on my face. I don't know if you could see but it's like a little bit, like it's not like completely clear. So I just like to just make sure my skin is clear before I put this face mask on my face. So then basically, I don't have my contacts in so I'm like blind. So basically I'm taking my mirror and I'm just gonna start applying. So it's a little liquidy, you can see it's like dripping a little bit. I'm wearing clothes that like I don't care about so if it drips on, obviously it's gonna wash off like. So then you guys can see I got it a little bit in my edges. So I'm just gonna basically take that same um, like swab I used and just kind of wipe that out my edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this sit for about like 10 to 15 minutes so it hardens and then we'll be back. Okay guys, so now the face mask is starting to harden. So basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this off. Okay guys, so now that my face mask is off, I'm basically gonna go ahead and wash my face. So how I wash my face is I'm gonna be showing you how I do would do it normally, like an everyday thing if I did not have a face mask on anyways. So basically, I use my spin brush and and I got this, this spin brush is actually sent to me by Duval. So basically, it's an interchangeable skin brush. It comes with a facial exfoliating brush, a large body cleansing brush, and a facial cleansing brush, and a pumice stone. So 
This is honestly really good and basically it's regularly $95 but if you use my code you get 70% off and it brings the brush down to $28.50 for the brush and all the four interchangeable things. So it's a great deal and I use this every single day when I wash my face and it really gives me a great cleaning feeling. So now I'm just going to show you how I use it. So now I'm going to be taking my um, tea tree skin clear and facial wash by the body shop I get this at Ulta so I'm basically I'm just gonna wet my face and then apply it So then you can see after you wash your face like all the like dirt that was on your face and basically what I always do is I take it off and I rinse it off. So that it's nice and clean my next use. Sometimes I'll go ahead and add more soap um, to my face. But see, then you just put it back on. So this is really efficient for washing my face. And then basically after I use my spring brush, then I wash my face off. Um, yeah, so let's wash my face off. Okay guys, then I'm gonna take another cotton round once my face is all rinsed off. And I'm gonna put some witch hazel on it. So the witch hazel I used is the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. All right, everything's off my face. So the next thing I do, is I go ahead and take some um, hot aloe. So I got this from TJ Maxx and basically it's 99%, like what is the other percent? Um, but I know a lot of people like rather use fresh aloe, like, but I don't always have the time for fresh aloe, like to go to the store and get it and then to cut it and stuff. I feel like it's so messy and I'm just really lazy, so. I put olive on my face and then once the olive's on, I let it dry and your face will feel like a little bit sticky. So then once it's dry, I either use my Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer or I use my Mattifying Lotion by um, The Body Shop, The Tea Tree. So basically the difference is I kind of put this on more towards when I'm like going out and stuff like that. Like this is more so my everyday. Like I'll use this if I'm staying inside the house. I don't really like to use this when I'm going out and doing my makeup because it is mattifying. And I do have like combination skin sometimes it's dry sometimes it's oily but I prefer this because it's just better for my skin in a sense like when I'm going out so I'm doing my I um, think I'm doing my makeup after this so I'll just use this one I like my skin to be really hydrated I know some people would just use aloe use aloe as a moisturizer but to me i feel like i need more than that so i'll go ahead and with um a moisturizer like when i wash my face at night sometimes i'll just leave aloe on my face um well, i'll put a different moisturizer like i don't use this at night i'll use the nivea moisturizing cream soft i'll use this one at night after i put on the daily moisturizer it also really depends on the type of day this is elf's hydrating primer serum so if i know like i'm about to do some makeup then i'll just like put this on my face um, sometimes even if I'm not gonna do makeup, I'll still put this on my face. Like if I'm going out and I just want my face to look really like moisturized and stuff, then I'll just like rub this over my face and then call it a day. So as you can see, my face looks really like moisturized. I don't like my face looking like dry or anything like that. So we make sure we rub everything in. 
But yeah, guys, so that's it for my skincare routine. So I don't do much for my skincare routine. Um, I'm I'm not really like I don't have acne prone skin or anything like that. So I hope you guys like this video. Comment down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I definitely want you guys to go check out that spin brush collection and use my code so you can save so much money $95 compared to $28 that's a lot of money to save so you don't want to miss out you definitely want to go purchase yours today bye guys like this video